My favorite cities are those whose public transportation networks have multiple modes of transportation. There's just something fun about all the variety. Different transportation needs call for different transportation modes, and it's great to see when cities see these different needs and adapt accordingly. In some cases, the differences between modes are very obvious. But sometimes, it can be harder to tell how one mode is different from the other. Today, we are in Seattle, Washington, where there is a light rail network and a streetcar network. Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. I'm Tom and I am in Seattle, Washington. Now, in 2022, I uploaded a video about a different Pacific Northwest city, Portland. And in that video, I talked about how Portland has both a light rail system and a separate streetcar system. Now it turns out there are quite a few cities in the US that have something similar where they have two different systems and Seattle is one of those cities. In fact, the way Seattle is set up with their light rail and their streetcar kind of reminds me of Portland in some ways, but there are also a few major differences. In a previous video, we've already taken a closer look at Seattle's light rail. Link is 25 miles or 40 kilometers long and first opened in 2009. Though there is a section where the trains run in the street median, the majority of the line is either in tunnels or elevated. Outside of downtown, the spacing between stations is very large as well. In most ways, it operates a lot like a metro, except that the vehicles it uses are basically large streetcar vehicles with a low floor. Besides light rail, Seattle also has two streetcar routes, which we will be focusing on for the rest of the video. Totaling about 4 miles or 6 kilometers, the two lines are actually completely separate from one another. There have been plans to connect the two using a new alignment through downtown, but so far that's been on hold and nothing has really come of it. They even had already ordered 10 new streetcars for the new connector, but in 2018 that order was cancelled. The streetcar is operated by King County Metro. The vehicles used on both lines are smaller than those on Link Light Rail. They are built by Inecon, a company based in the Czech Republic. Unlike both the light rail and the buses in Seattle, it doesn't seem like much attention was paid to the livery or color scheme. Each vehicle is a different color, and the colors seem pretty randomly selected. The first hill line is the newer and longer of the two. Having opened in 2016, it originates not too far from King Street Station, the city's main railway terminal. It eventually travels up to the Capitol Hill neighborhood, a total distance of two and a half miles with 10 stops. The South Lake Union streetcar opened in 2007 and runs for 1.3 miles from the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center to Westlake Station in downtown, with a total of seven stops. A ride on the streetcar costs $2.25, which you can pay with your Orca card, just like all other transit in the Puget Sound area. The streetcar isn't a particularly fast service, but its ridership has increased steadily since it first opened. Even during the pandemic, ridership was still double of what it was when it opened. Next station is Westlake and Mercer. 
So there are a few other cities that have both light rail and streetcars. Dallas, Salt Lake City, and Portland come to mind. Of those cities, I think Seattle has the most similarities with Portland. Next station is Westlake and 7th. The vehicles in both systems are the same and their functions are similar as well, where the light rail connects a larger area and the streetcar is meant for shorter local trips around the downtown area. To request next stop, press yellow strip or door button. But there are a few major differences as well. I would consider Link Light Rail much more metro-like than the Max in Portland. I think the light rail and streetcar complement each other much more in Portland where they frequently cross each other and serve different parts of the same areas. In Seattle, the streetcars appear to function more as two feeder services for the light rail. And finally, what's interesting is that in Portland, the light rail is much older than the streetcar, whereas in Seattle, the first streetcar actually opened a few years before the light rail did. We have now ridden the entire South Lake Union line and are at the terminus of Westlake Station, where transfer is available to the light rail and to the monorail. Nearby are the Amazon Spheres, an Amazon office building where they were handing out free bananas. Yummy. Those are all my initial thoughts on the Seattle streetcar. I do hope that the connector line is built someday. I think that will have the power to dramatically change the system. In our next video, we are going to take a ride on Seattle's iconic monorail. You won't want to miss it. Subscribe to Trains Are Awesome and hit the bell icon so you're always reminded when we upload new content. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time.